I'm Jan uh, from Chemical Kultur uh, here in Münster on a farm. Hello, Jan. Uh, tell me, uh, German farmhouse brewery, how did it start? Uh, well, maybe it started like very far back in the days when I was like growing up, while I was working in the um, like in the garden business of my my family. And uh, later on, I studied agriculture and food business. And during that time, I said like, well, I want to go back to my hometown, Münster. And I didn't want to work for the meat industry. So what can you do? And I thought I was like pretty good at home brewing. So they're like, well, maybe start a brewery from like this idea or sentence. Uh, there was some years of thought I put into that and I said like, well, we need to do something which is tied to this place. And basically, this is what we are doing. So on one side, we are using quite a lot of materials which are here from the area, which we forage, which we grow ourselves or work together with uh, like uh, farmers and family businesses. Um, and from the other side, lots of the stuff that we are making are uh, historical beers. And some of them are like historical beers from Münster. For example, uh, our Alt beer, which is a barrel aged golden sour beer, which is uh, interpreted from like old recipes, but also as how the beer was described. And um, the other one are the, the Groot beers, which were popular from like 13th to 16th century. And um, that's one of our main focus. And besides that, we are doing quite a lot of other historical stuff, smoked beers, um, other sour beers, bitter beers. Uh, lots of hops we're using, uh, quite a lot of hops in in our beers. Um, Everything is like whole cone hops, and real herbs is like not pulverized or something which is uh, kind of like too much processed. So we have lots of like the real material inside. Yeah. Um, tell me, you also uh, make pate, make cheese. That that came in the beginning also as the idea of I want to have more natural and local products? So what we are doing is like making the bread ourselves and now we start to experiment like making our own mustard. That's something like where we think we can do this here in the brewery. Uh, but we are not making cheese here, but we are working uh, hand in hand with uh, a local goat cheese maker. And uh, like, uh, oh, we want some funky stuff. Well, we can get that. And um, same with uh, the pate, we are working together with uh, our farmer. Uh, we're, we're also the breweries and the pigs are getting spent grain. And uh, from that spent grain on, well, from that pig, uh, we are making uh, the pate. And to put our like small Kemke twist inside, like, like instead of like ice, they use like 10% of our alt beer in the making of this pate. And, really taste a bit of the beer, but otherwise like very much the the uh, yeah the, the taste of the animal as also because the pigs are living here two times as long as the industrial like uh, yeah farm pig raiser something like that. You also did recently a collapse beer with dog brewing from Belgium. Yes. Can you tell us a bit about that? Uh, I know Janos uh, from different beer festivals and lots of communication and also like trading beers. Um, it's like we get something from him and he gets something from us. And uh, we, he was traveling a lot in uh, Europe to, to understand like farmhouse brewing. And um, I wanted to get to know him and say like, well, you need to come here for some days to see what we are doing. And also uh, you can tell me more about what you learned at other breweries, uh, so he, uh, he had lots of stories to tell from from his uh, um, travelings to um, uh, Eastern Europe, where farmers brewing is still alive, and that was a very interesting. Two days that we had, and, and one day we brewed a collab um, with our historic Chevalier barley. It's a barley variety which is grown here in the area, and I think it's. Very special because last time it was used 100 years ago for brewing and uh, we want to revive those old varieties because they have more taste they have more protein and they are also much more sustainable so uh, the the normal rooting routings of like uh, barley are like this and the historic varieties go much deeper 
And if you have a dry summer, those varieties really show off what they can. And um, I think it's it's nice to, to use this. So like Chevalier barley, uh, lots of Belgian hops from Hoppekreuz. It's an organic uh, farmer. Uh, we we'll use their Spalt Select uh, and we can probably dry up the spear uh, with some Merkur and uh, it's going to be interesting. Uh, final question. What are your hopes and plans for the future? Which can so hopes and plans for the future. Well, it's, uh, it's, uh, everything is like a long term project what we are doing. So if you are having beers which like mature between five months and two years, um, then you need to plan ahead. So what we want to do is clearly make more beer, but also make more cider. And uh, if it's feasible in like in the long run, have like an own orchard where we have our trees uh, of, of old apple varieties and some uh, cider varieties. And um, then to close the circle with the brewery, like having like sheep under the, the, the trees, which are eating the grass, but also spent grain. We want to process those sheeps and uh well and uh yeah it's like building a farm so that's that's our long-term plan uh, we need to see if and when this was possible that, so that that is like our um our idea of, of where we want to go